Anonymous releases bone-chilling video of Uma Abedin. Uma Abedin found herself right in the middle of an FBI investigation not long ago due to the finding of more emails from her husband's Anthony Weiner's laptop that may be connected to Hillary Clinton's investigation which has caused the FBI to reopen Hillary's case. However, emails may have been the least of our worries when it comes to Uma Abedin and Hillary Clinton. Specifically, what you are about to learn from the group Anonymous will chill to you to the bone. BizPack Reviews reports a popular video circulating social media claims to show Abedin, who was raised in Saudi Arabia between the ages of 2 and 18, her family and her extension Clinton have ties to groups and people who fund terrorism. The narrator of the video names the four main players as Clinton, Abedin, Saudi Arabia, and Abdullah Omar Nassif. This video alleges that the Abedin family business the Institute of Minority Muslim Affairs, which as we reported is pro-Sharia law newsletter where Abedin used to work, is owned by the Muslim World League Saudi Arabia's global organization that promotes violent Wahhabi Islam. I think it's fair to say America deserves answers about this. Her history and alarming connections are mostly unknown to the American people. Who is Huma Abedin? What do we know about Hillary Clinton's number one aide and sidekick for 20 years? Hillary spoke at Huma's wedding saying, If I had a second daughter, it would be Huma. This presidential election decides who gets to run the most powerful country on earth, so it is obviously very important to understand the facts about Huma Abedin as she may very soon become Chief of Staff in the White House. I'll be simplifying an intricate web of people, organizations and events that unraveled over many years. All of this information and more is available online for anyone who has access to Google. Anyway, here is an unbelievable story of infiltration unfolding before our eyes and the most important aspect of this election that you definitely won't see on CNN. There are four main players in this. Hillary Clinton, Huma Abedin, Abdullah Omar Nassif, and Saudi Arabia. Huma was born in the USA. Then when she was two years old, her family moved to Saudi Arabia. They lived in Saudi Arabia for 16 years. Huma returned to the USA when she was 18 to study at George Washington University. Only after two years in the country, she became an intern for Hillary Clinton, and soon after started working full time. Also in 1996, Huma was working at her family business, a journal by the Institute of Muslim Minority Affairs. The Abedin's family business is owned by the Muslim World League, Saudi Arabia's global organization that promotes violent Wahhabi Islam. They even share an office at 46 Good Street, London. Saliha Abedin, Huma's mother, and Hassan Abedin, Huma's brother, currently work there still. Abdullah Omar Nassif is one of the founders of the Muslim World League and served as Vice President of the Saudi Kingdom Shura Council. He created Huma's family business along with her father. He also funded Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden, as did Saudi Arabia, for many years. His organization was declared guilty of funding Al-Qaeda terrorism by the USA State Department. During the Holy Land Foundation trial in 2001, the FBI discovered that the Muslim Brotherhood gave over $12 million to Hamas, the terrorist organization. They also found the secret 18-page plan for the Muslim Brotherhood, which explains that their work in America is a kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying Western civilization from within. This document is available online in full. One of the many listed organizations within the Muslim Brotherhood was the Muslim Students Association which Huma was an executive board member on for three years. Only two years after Huma left, 
Anwar al Awalaki, the Al Qaeda member and preacher to 9 11 hijackers, became chaplain of the same Muslim Students Association that Huma was a part of. To make things worse, Huma's mother, Saliha Abedin, is a leading member of the Muslim Sisterhood, the women's division of the Muslim Brotherhood. All of these organizations share the same goal and tell us repeatedly in plain English. They want to destroy Western civilization and replace our laws with oppressive Sharia law like you see in Saudi Arabia. On 9-11, Abdullah Omar Nassif, Saudi Arabia and Al-Qaeda tried to do just that. Where was Humor that day? The top funders of the 9-11 attacks created Humor's family business. Humor was officially working for the terrorists and Hillary Clinton the day those towers fell. Huma Abedin has never come forward with any information about her Saudi co-workers. Absolutely none of Huma's connections were mentioned by her during the investigations into 9-11. She has made no mention of her relationship to Abdullah Omar Nassif, the Muslim World League, Muslim Brotherhood, or her current status at a family business, which could be of unimaginable assistance to the FBI and the CIA. Huma's mother still works for the Muslim World League, yet Huma has made no effort to distance herself from her mother or her radical views. Saliha Abedin is a leading Sharia activist who has, for example, published a book called Women in Islam that claims secular man-made laws enslave women. It supports female genital mutilation, the death penalty for leaving Islam, the legal subordination of women, and the participation of women in violent jihad. Hillary Clinton has flown to meet with Saliha Abedin many times. Huma says that her mother considers her to be a big deal and is proud of her. Huma's absolute silence on all questions regarding her extremist ties says far too much. How can someone with such close links to terrorism be allowed access to our top secret information and have security clearances? Especially since it was found that Huma was accessing Hillary Clinton's emails and physical documents. The Clinton Foundation received over $25 million from Saudi Arabia, and they also funded 20% of her election campaign. Saudi Arabia's massive influence on the Clintons and Obama administration has not gone unnoticed. The damaging results of Islamist influence on the USA and Europe is worthy of another dedicated report, as this is just the tip of the corrupt iceberg. But you can no longer deny that Hillary Clinton is actively working with a global movement whose goal is to destroy Western civilization, just for the selfish benefit of money and power. Humor is the previously hidden link between the Clintons and Saudi terrorism. Dozens of other people and organizations were left out of this for length. Any rational person should have high standards of evidence for claims such as this. So here is the fastest way to prove Humor's tie to Abdullah Omar Nassif that you can look up for yourself and is sourced by their own websites. Start at the website of Huma's family business, the Institute of Muslim Minority Affairs. See that Huma's mother, Salita, and Huma's brother, Hassan, currently manage this company. Now go to the website for the Muslim World League, owned by Saudi Arabia and Abdullah Omar Nassif. Note the address is listed by their website, 46 Gooch Street, London. Now, back to Huma's family business. If you scroll down, you see that same address, 46 Gooch Street, London. Clearly anyone can prove in seconds that Huma's family business is owned by Saudi Arabian terrorists. Their own websites make no secret of this fact. There are no more excuses for Huma's silence. She has had years of opportunities to distance herself from terrorists and radical views, but would rather simply hide. The American people demand an explanation from Huma Abedin and Hillary Clinton before the election. One simple, straightforward question needs to be answered. Did Abdullah Omar Nassif create your family business? And were you working with him in any capacity on September the 11th, 2001? Yes or no? This year marks the 15th anniversary of the day Al-Qaeda murdered 3,000 innocent citizens. Let's not forget about it so quickly. Huma's security clearances should be revoked until she or Hillary directly address this national security threat. Unfortunately, in the meantime, because of the overwhelming silence and lies, it appears to be true that a vote for Hillary Clinton 
will be a vote for Huma Abedin, the Muslim Brotherhood, Saudi Arabia, Al Qaeda, and a wish for the complete destruction of the United States of America. So, in other words, so she blames her election loss on what? I mean, really, let's be honest, folks. I mean, I have seen this video in the past, but, I mean, really? She, she flaps her gums saying she l lost to Trump because uh, she got the popular vote. Look at the idiots who they are, they are supporting. You know, whether this is true or not, just that it's insinuated, which the guy makes it perfectly clear. He links the things. He links the pages, the addresses. So, I mean, really, she lost for... Uh, the American people, with the, with the internet now, you can't hide the information like they used to. No matter what, the information is going to come out. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.